My dearest Sarah, my love for you is deathless. The memories of the blissful moments I've spent with you come creeping over me. And I feel most gratified to God and to you that I've enjoyed them for so long. Hard it is for me to give them up and burn to ashes the hopes of future years when, God willing, we might still have lived and looked together and seen our sons grown up to honorable manhood. I have, I know, but few and small claims upon divine providence, but something whispers to me. Perhaps it is the wafted prayer of my little Edgar that I shall return to my loved ones unharmed. If I do not, my dear Sarah, never forget how much I love you. And when my last breath escapes me on the battlefield, it will whisper your name. But Sarah, if the dead can come back to this earth and flit unseen around those they loved, I shall always be near you. In the gladdest days and in the darkest nights, always, always. And if there be a soft breeze upon your cheek, it shall be my breath. It should be my spirit passing by. My very dear Sarah. Sarah, do not mourn me dead. Indications are very strong. Think I'm gone we and wait for thee. For we Perhaps shall meet tomorrow. again. Dear Sarah, I've no of the in this cause in which I, I came across an article in the right the other day about this district. And it's dear Sarah, I'm strong in the I see I'm telling you this over and over again. This seems to be less I know and hope said once a while. But everything about you is the same as kind of thing. Dear Sarah, the snow is fast disappearing now. Soon we shall have a I came across an article Dear Sarah, the other you can see by the address above that, that I am in the army at last. I had a bit of a tough time these last few days, but things are going quite a except in the wild fowl. When I left you last Monday night, I got to the exam here about 11 to the and on Wednesday I missed it. My dearest Will, I do not know if you are receiving my letters. Still, I feel I must write you again. I can't help feeling a bit anxious. Of course, I know, dear, you will write as soon as ever you can, but the time seems so weary without any news of you. If only this war was over, dear, and we were together again. It will be one day, I suppose. P.S. Don't worry about me. I'm quite all right. Only anxious to get your letters. With fondest love, Sarah.